Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity, and this is going to be on Fighting Spirit between Striker and Seriosity, the first match of their bout as part of the Fighting Spirit Mania Tournament, which has a lot of deep irony and is just somehow flavorful in context altogether. If you guys are unfamiliar with Fighting Spirit, buckle up because you're going to get used to it. We got a <laughs> ramp leading to a natural expansion, which is somewhat wide. Uh, you got this bridge nearby at the 12 o'clock location. You got a double ramp uh, thing going on. And in the middle of the map, you have an uh, interesting double gas handful of minerals right here. But I'm right in corner of Seriosity. So let me talk about what Fighting Spirit Mania is. Fighting Spirit Mania is a tournament that I'm not sure if it increases in sets as it moves. But initially, we're going to have a best of seven initially. And we're going to have seven sets of bests of sevens. In round one so to start off first of all so basically what it comes down to is uh, they're both closeted and opened sadomasochists in the brood war community and there's something I think there's just something natural to be a little bit masochistic in Starcraft itself looks like we're opening up with the nine pool in the upper left hand corner by the way and there is a certain point of like just doing things to the point of I mean brood war it's I think it was Jayun who's saying or no it was Hawk who's saying uh, during Artosis's, uh, looks like we're, Sirio is setting up for a 12 Nexus, by the way, was saying that Brood War players are, and that's kind of disastrous because we got that nine pool opening up. It's going to come down to scouting information for Striker. That oftentimes Brood War is more, that Brood War players are more marathon runners than they are sprinters. And we'll see if that's true of the casters as well. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to cast every single match because I would be doing that well into next year. Uh, but we'll see how much of it I can do. Going to kind of get nightly cast out of it. Looks like Striker cleverly trying to hide this. But I don't know. There's something hilarious about it where it is the fighting spirit, right? It's the fighting spirit of Brood War that we just play and play and play. And it really is truly the journey rather than the, des the destination in the midst of this. And we'll see how long uh, kind of the casting crew will hold up in the midst of this. We're seeing a hatchery behind this. There are no Zerglings. So just two Zerglings being produced. But point being... It's almost uh, yeah an endurance match more than anything, which is hilarious because and the irony of it is is because Fighting Spirit was in the map pool for absolutely forever, and everybody knows this map. Probe scooting around. So between, so keep in mind as far as a best of seven or best of seven, it is a true competitor's. A true competitor's. Uh, so basically, you have opportunity to adjust. The map doesn't change. I think everybody generally considers Fighting Spirit to be fairly balanced map. And so it comes down to who's the better player and who can adapt to their opponent over what period of time. And if you can't win in your first set of best of sevens, then maybe you can do better in your following sets of best of sevens. So we could see anything. That's what it comes down to. Nexus, about two-thirds finished gateway on the front and only a single cannon defending. We do have a simulator behind this. We are seeing a three hatch opener for Striker behind this. Hasn't yet transferred... Drones to the natural expansion. Looks like he does have the nine set up there. That probe scout remaining alive. Now, between these two, I'm going to favor Striker, but I'm hoping Seriosity gives him a good showing. Mostly because Seriosity, caster for BSL, and I've got that caster pride as well. Both American players, and I haven't been able to highlight Seriosity's, I haven't been able to see Seriosity's level of play. My impression is, is that Striker, just where he sits in the community, his run in BSL, and also seeing him in the NA team battles, I'm favoring him. But I'm hoping Seriosity will surprise me. I know that he is a very talented player. In the meantime, Lair about halfway finished at the natural expansion. But point being, this is grueling, grueling casts. Uh, grueling viewership, we'll see. Maybe you guys will find it entertaining. But it is it's the nature of Brood War. And it's long walk in the foreigner community to stay relevant and alive. Anyway, <laughs> enough lamenting. The state of uh, Brood War. It's probably a bit of my mood as well. Lair just about coming online. Seriosity kept that probe alive this entire time. We do have seven probes at the natural expansion. No, or sorry, probes. Drones at the natural expansion. No drones there yet. The Zelts initially walking off. Second pylon. And we do see a second assimilator warping down. And a Stargate warping in for Seriosity. Nothing crazy happening thus far. This is looking like very, very, very standard. Zerg versus Protoss. I know Striker and Hawk both tend to adopt the come at me bro 
more four hatch style of play rather than going for early game busts. I feel like Stry uh, Striker is a little bit more aggressive than Hawk in tech switches and sometimes can get caught in the midst of this. He, uh, he will make sure that you are keeping your air control, and if you are not, he will do a quick tech switch on you. Spire going down, by the way, off three hatch. It doesn't look like he's opting for four hatch play here. Maybe going back to the old school style of play to keep it uh, relevant. Lots of drones filtering in, and he, okay, now he's opting to put that fourth hatch at that 12 o'clock location, rather than sim sitting his front door. This is quite a distance to cover, and keep in mind, also fighting spirit automatically lends towards more long-term macro games. Striker checking the 6 o'clock location with those Zerglings, making them useful. Templar Archive, Citadel of Dune on the way. And we do have Corsairs also being produced to get that initial scouting information. Weapons 1, just about halfway finished. And the Zerglings kind of testing. So, Evolution Chamber behind this. I feel like one of Striker's... Oh, actually, 5 hatchery. So, Striker opting for 5 hatch... Hydra will stand, but also grabbing the Evo Chamber in the midst of this. Seriosity seeing it, not finding any overlords. He's looking at the drone saturation, realizes that Striker is going for a long-term economic game. And right now, he only really has two Zealots out on the front door. The initial Scourge are out to potentially chase the Corsair down. So this is a so this is turning into five hatch Hydralisk in the midst of this. Hydralisk speed being upgraded, and this is gonna be plenty for Striker to go ahead and and shell up in macro up, I have a feeling his goal is to just outpace Seriosity, get a large economy and roll from there. The Scourge checking out what's there in the front, seeing only really two gateways, which which gives him an indicator that this is going to be more Bisu style-ish. We do have a Dark Templar being warped in. Seriosity was potentially kind of light on the gateways in the mid-game, hoping to go for more tech uh, Mid-game control and potentially grab a third from there. Now he's tacking on the additional gateways. And I'm curious, the striker's going to... He is not positioning to get a more, more aggressive with this. He is adding a six hatchery at the 12 o'clock location. The zealots are now marching forward, but keep in mind this is a very small count of zealots. Zealot leg speed's just going to be finishing as is weapon one. The Corsair's moving out as well. But this isn't usually the cadre of six to eight that you see at the, seven, the usual seven minute 30 mark. A Dark Templar also moving into the natural expansion. Plenty of overlords there. There's a large SimCity, a large blockade. So Striker in a decent position to engage this already. An overlord is overhead. And you can see Striker just shelling up. Oftentimes what he will follow this up with is, as soon as he gets that economy running, is a potential blockade. But right now, Seriosity finding nothing. The Dark Templar able to sneak into the back corner, though. One drone kill. Striker realizing it, though. So that's three drone kills. It looks like he... Popped out to go ahead and engage here on the front as well. So the Dark Templar able to sneak out. So Seriosity able to draw blood. Able to slow the economy down a little bit. And the Dark Templar still alive. Might have potential to go peek out. Overlord speed finish. So the Hydralis is looking to potentially box in. And actually while they're out of position. The Zealots walking in to get some damage. Finding that 6 hatchery. The rest of the Hydralis moving to the front to potentially poke away at this. There are High Templar in position. Psystorm is not yet finished. Three cannons are there to help with the defense. I believe Sidestorm's going to finish, and there's going to be plenty of energy to push this back. There is going to be some storm dodging that is required, though. A High Templar does get picked off on the front. Seriosity doesn't like seeing that. Probably going to lose this gateway as well. I would not be shocked if he loses the Forge in the midst of this. There, Sidestorm finishes. Two of the Hydralis dying. The third one survives. More Sidestorm. Still poking away at the front. And the Zealots trying to push... These Hydralis back, now that they are softened up a bit, having a bit of trouble doing so. The Corsair is also pecking away at that Overlord. More results coming down from the north. In the meantime, that Dark Templar trying to get something accomplished at the 12 o'clock, not finding anything there. The Zealots chasing those Hydralis back, however. But in the midst of this... Oh, Corsair eating a Scourge hit right there. But in the midst of this, Striker, aside from being supply blocked... Oh, these drones! Are they going to run right across this Dark Templar? One down. And the Dark Templar are able to feast. So Seriosity getting gold out of this Dark Templar. The Zergling still running around the third. So Seriosity, big supply lead. Has a lot of gateways down. Is now getting range. Lurker Aspect just finishing for Striker as well. Getting a Creep Colony to the front. I think the Dark Templar, I missed the Dark Templar diving in. Finally getting picked off, I think. Level 1 Weapons is there. 
for Stryker, but Stryker critically at 51 drones has saturated very well across all of his bases. And I'm wondering if he's going to drop a second evolution chamber to try to maintain that continuous lead. Seriosity now moving out with his own Zealots and Corsairs marching to the 6 o'clock base. The Zergling sees it, so knows the timing. But the 9 o'clock base is being grabbed by Stryker as well. And with Lurkers in place, it is going to be challenging to break through these positions. However, Lurkers do need to be morphed and in position to really uh, lock those positions. In the meantime, Stryker starting to burrow right out the front, not really challenging this base. The Corsair is moving forward, finding that 9 o'clock. The Overlord looks like it's going to be able to back up. Some additional Hydra is pressing forward. It looks like they were able to pick off a Dragoon in exchange for a Hydra. And Seriosity able to sneak across the lower ramp. Again, Lurker Aspect not there, and I think this hatchery is, in fact, going to need to be cancelled. Yeah, there's the cancellation. The Lurker is now grouping up, so a bit of a delay there for Striker. Which is going to slow his economy down. Seriosity with still about a 20 supply. Two more hatcheries plopping down at the 9 o'clock location. Overlord hiding the upper right. I'm curious what that's about. One zealot marching through to his death. Maybe just to see what he can see. Actually, is he going to get all the way to the main? Are you kidding me? This zealot. The essence of fighting spirit right here. Marching into the main. Maybe to disrupt some drones at the very least. But otherwise, is he going to get a drone kill? Gets a drone kill. But otherwise dies. Fighting Spirit Zealot. Still no Hive Tech. Looks like uh, Striker really wants to play, and actually no second Evolution Chamber in the midst of this. He wants to play it off layer units. Is just going to try to outproduce Seriosity. Heads up. Seriosity, however, has four High Templar. Lots of energy behind them. Already has a good number of Dragoons and Zealots behind this. And the Gateway Count. We'll see if he can keep up in production with the Gateways he's got. But right now, 20 Supply Head where he wants to be. 6 o'clock base has some cannons down. Striker looking to just turn this into a wave. Dragoon getting away from Seriosity. Again, Fighting Spirit Dragoon getting a little caught a little ahead of himself. The Hydra is moving to the trees, splitting a little bit, probably forfeiting their lives. Seriosity now bullying around the map with a large Protoss army. He's still sitting at one Forge as well. So level 2 weapons on the Hydralisks. The level 1 armor will help keep those High Templar alive in the midst of this fight. And I like the split of the Observers. It's going to be critical to keep them alive. But a lot of Lurkers here. You can see in a very defensive contained situation from Striker. And it looks like Seriosity having con trouble controlling that back army. The Lurkers out of position to stop at the 9 o'clock. Catching some drones as they come across this storming Hydralisks and a grouping of Lurkers up there. Getting blockaded at the ramp. And Seriosity having trouble keeping that grouping... And I don't know if I like the Psy Storm usage right here just to catch those two Lurkers. More Lurkers burrowing forward. More Hydralisks grouping, grouping up. And this army having trouble positioning to counterattack. Another empty Psy Storm. Very nice Psy Storm to the right. Obliterating a group of Hydralisks. Also catching a Lurker right there. And another great Psy Storm to the Hydralisks to the right. Those are the exchanges that Seriosity wants. The Lurkers continuing to press forward and push this army back. However, now Hydralis is coming in from the rear in a sweeping pincer attack. And the units are trapped every direction. Overlord's flying overhead to distract Dragoon Fire as well. The Lurker's burrowing position in Seriosity's army is going to be obliterated. And unfortunately for him, Striker can rebuild rapidly and get contained position in the midst of this. This is exactly what Sir uh, that Striker wanted. Is to get in this exchange situation, crush that army, have more overflow, and just macro 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 with all of his hatcheries and press into this level two armor is going to finish momentarily that might help but i'm not sure that it's going to be enough to stem the tide seriosity now back up to the ramp outside of his natural expansion still trying to fight things back observers getting picked off overhead that's going to allow the lurkers to reign free the hydra is backing up allowing those zealots to run across the spines and now that army trying to retreat to the north but it's very softened up more reinforcements are streaming across the middle of the map and this is now Sauron Zerg style. Also, Striker checking that bottom left-hand corner to make sure Seriosity didn't grab a fourth. And Seriosity calling GG, just realizing he was going to get overwhelmed. And trying to save his, stam uh, his stamina for game two. So now we will move on to game two. A fighting spirit between Striker and Seriosity. Hope you guys enjoyed game one. Thanks for listening.